decade after being hailed as Binibiring Pilipinas Intercontinental 2014 and Miss Intercontinental 2014 second runner-up, 34-year-old Chris Tiffany Hansen, who's also Miss Cebu 2009, has proven that she still got it as she was crowned as the first ever Miss Universe Philippine Cebu 2024. Representing Cebu City North, she also bagged the Best in Gown Award and several other corporate awards. It's a nice feeling. I was very nervous to be honest, but I was also very excited because um, Miss Universe is a whole different ball game. I'm very happy with the output. Uh, I did cry because I was so happy and also because um, everything just uh, went into my mind and I'm just very happy with the output also. As a public servant, Hanson talked about how Cebu is an open space for empowered women during the Q&A portion. And if you were to create a major headline in Cebu tomorrow that is totally relevant, what would it be and why? If I were to create a headline, it would be Cebu empowering stronger women. Because Cebu is known to be a very open city. And what I love about Cebu is we are very welcoming. And we do love and we empower our women. We build communities for stronger women. And that is future universe that we can share to each other. Dagang salamat kanina tanay. Hanson will also be representing Cebu on the national stage of Miss Universe Philippines. To recall, the MUPH Cebu pageant is part of the new program of the Miss Universe Philippines organization where all Miss Universe pageant candidates will be sent by accredited partners who have the authority to proclaim representatives from different cities, towns, provinces, and even overseas communities to the national contest. Out of the 100 applicants during the screening process, only 20 ladies were given the opportunity and the privilege to be on stage and compete for the Miss Universe Philippine Cebu title. Other ladies who won during the coronation night are Javel Dukay of Bantayan Island as Miss Universe Philippine Cebu Tourism 2024, Mary Josephine Paaske of Talisay City as Miss Universe Philippine Cebu Heritage 2024, Nika Zosa Nabwa of Menglanilla as Miss Universe Philippines Cebu Charity 2024. While Natasha Testa representing Lapu Lapu City is the Miss Philippines Cebu. Part of the runner ups are Mips and Calves of Carcar City as first runner up and Thelma Suzanne Dayao of San Fernando as second runner up. The other ladies are also ready to take on each of their roles and responsibilities after winning their respective titles. I am just so happy. As you can see, all of the supporters are here from Bantayan Island. That's all I can say. I'm just for the support that they're giving me. That's why this is all for them. This is for Bantayan Island. I've been really doing um, photo shoots and video shoots around Bantayan Island, Madre de Hoss, Santa Fe, and Bantayan. That's one way that I could promote Bantayan Island itself. You should experience Bantayan Island with me. Well, I've been eyeing for Miss Philippine Cebu and thankful to God. I'm so very thankful because I already got it here and I'm very grateful. Well, I will just carry the pride and the beauty of being a Cebuana. I was feeling so overwhelmed but so excited and I feel like that I want to thank my family even though they're not here with me but I feel like um, it's such a blessing that my family are still watching through online. Oh, I'm so excited to represent the heritage of Cebu. There's a lot of the there's a lot to discover and um, I'm ready to share it to the universe. This has been Queenie Holigon for My TV Cebu. Look, 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 look,